Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. There's serious problems in Funke Akindel Belu's home. As one of JJ's skills, baby mama is coming after both Funke and her husband. Just some days ago, the woman came out crowded. Funke and her husband were on a smear campaign, trying to dent her son's image in order to cover up for the problems they were facing in the marriage, according to her. Before she came out, we had heard the news that her son was expelled from school, he was giving her call to other students, and they even claimed he was doing drugs. Then the mother came out to chastise the blogger who exposed this information and said that you should have contacted her first before sharing such information on social media. Her son also had gone to that same blog to go and comment that Funke was not what the public thought she was and claiming that she was a horror to live with because he lived with her for two years according to him. And prior to the time he came to live with Funke, who was in the UK, this boy is like 17 years old. Benito's mom also reached out to another blogger that if the blogger wanted to know the details about Funke's marital crisis, they should contact her because she was going to give them information about Funke. And then the first baby mama of JJ Skills came out to Rada to support Funke and her husband and said that they were right behind them. But today, Benito's mom took to our official social media platform to warn both Funke and her husband. We know that since 2018, Funke welcomed her twin boys. She has been hiding their faces from the public. Even in a recent interview, she was speaking that she was doing this in order to protect her sons, that it is not good for both their security and also for their age. And she wants them to have a normal childhood. But then, Today, Benito's mom exposed the faces of the twins to the whole world as she shared the picture that they had taken during the Christmas. And you could clearly see the twins' faces uncovered. Even though it was just in a recent interview, Funke was talking about keeping her family private. This was in an interview with TVC. And she said, I keep my family private. Not really, because I still show my home, my husband, and the back of my children. How is that one private? It's not private. You see everything. But then the children's face, when they are old enough, they should show their face. If they want to, they should show their faces. But for now, I don't want them to show their faces. I want them to have their life and enjoy it. Their dad and I are already in the public eye. They are children, don't forget. They are vulnerable, so you just have to keep them away. Keep them safe. Let them go to school. Let them enjoy their life. Without her, that's Jennifer's son. That's JJC's son. See, see his leg. See his face. Leave them private. However, all that privacy is gone to the drain today. As Benito's mom has shared the picture of Funke and her husband with the twins with their faces. And this picture is currently going viral. And then she shared the pictures with this word. If you don't want me to expose your family, then don't expose mine, Funke and Abdul Belu. She's the mother of JJC's son, the 17 years old boy who even recently featured in the first diary. Also, as it gets the information on Benito, Mela also reached out to Tosin Silverdam, the same blogger who had shared the other news, and pointed out that it must have been Funke who gave the information out to, to be anonymously posted, according to her. And she continued by saying that the actress covers her children's faces to protect them, but has no issues with slandering her teenage son. And then to support her claim, Mela shared a conversation she had with her son's father, JJC, where he confirmed that the information got out through an insider, probably Funke's family member. Benito's mom also pointed out that Funke is a bully, according to her, and she gave the blogger permission to pull the story out. As it then reported, there was a problem between Funke and JJC skills. The people at the MN estate quoted Funke saying, Oko wo mi je, when they tried coming out down. The sources mentioned that Funke boldly accused her husband was scrounging the money, which she did not agree to, as the main owner of the company. This was when they said JJC Skills left Lagos for London just to cool down and have some space away from his wife. And as you get to other tiny issues they had, the reliable sources said, before joining Funke in Nigeria, the couple had an initial understanding that Simon Production would be a family business, which would be run by both Funke and JJC. And aside from this, Abdina Afunke will be able to work with other people in private jobs. But then after joining his better half, Funke never stopped behaving and making it clear that Simon Production is our own and we only let JJC have a decent amount of money without having to explain himself. 
They also mentioned that at the least provocation, Funke will scream in a rudely manner, even when third parties are around. Funke will freely take on private jobs, but they will not allow skills to take on private jobs. Any job at all that has no affiliation with their company. Funke will mostly come up with excuse why skills should not take on the job, mostly pointing at protecting a man from industry people, which is a good move when it comes to protecting her family, but when it comes to business, it might be a bad business decision. Skills loves his wife, but then, considering the fact that he has other kids to take care of, and they depend on him financially as their father. He also added that JJC rented an apartment where he is to host his kids when they come to Nigeria, so they can stay there without any qualms. And Abdul, according to the Holy Gate, to spend some time with the kids, when Funke agrees to it. So it was when Funke found out about the unauthorized millions on error that she told Abdul to leave her house. But then they said that the millions on error is not so much compared to the money they make together as a couple. As you know, JJC already had things going on for him before he came back to Nigeria to settle down with Funke. His name is Abdul Rashid Bilo, but then his public call skills or JJC skills. He's a songwriter, rapper, record and television producer. Abdul Rashid has been active in the entertainment industry since the year 2004 and he earned recognition in Nigeria after the release of his single We Are Africans, an Afrobeat anthem. Proud to the success of We Are Africans, he was producer for the British hip hop record company and musical group Big Brothers. And in December 2002, he released his own debut album, At Today, an experimental album with lyrics in English and Nigerian languages, which was influenced by hip hop. African and Salsa musical styles. He also co-produced with his wife Unge. They co-produced a television show, Industry, which is about the Nigerian music industry. His producing credits include Word MC's Joya and Morile by Buki. In the year 2013, he won the Best International Artist at the Nigerian Entertainment Awards and he created the JJC Skills and Foreign Eyes Code, the African Super Group. This group won the Kora All African Music Award in 2014. And proud is married to Funke. He already have three kids with three different baby mamas. Couple got married in the year 2016 and welcomed their two sons, their set of twins, in December 2018. We come to the end of this episode where JJC skills baby mama wants Funke Akindele and her husband that she's going to expose them. And she says, Don't expose me if you don't want me to expose you. We hope this family saw their problems. 